elbow very gently and placing your hand over here and rolling it around and you can feel such a, an inviting, excuse me, a very, very inviting contour and we wouldn't want to do anything but honor that. Now, honestly, my friends, the procedure is really, for it's a woman, you need to pull the breast down, okay, and then you go back in. Not you, honey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as a giver, we need to pull the breast down with the back of our palm, our heel here, and pull it down, and then and then it's very accessible, uh, like so. So it looks something like this, and we come up off your heels, enjoy yourself. Did you notice that I actually put my leg up against her immediately? Okay, because I want that was a deliberate deliberate motion there. I wanted to secure, and I wanted to transmit some comfort. It's much better than this, you guys. So many therapists. <laughs> Uh -uh. Let's get in there and let them know, okay, we're here, you know, we're here for you, like so. Okay, enjoy yourselves and pulling the breast down slightly, finding this, nice deep breath, please. And as Tina exhales, sink, sink, sink. We also know that we can stir our palm, we can also rotate our arm, and what we're doing here is we're accessing the brachial artery. It should be very, very pleasant. There should be no discomfort for the receiver whatsoever. And you okay, Tina? and slow release after you're intuitively guided and bring that energy to the surface using your mula bandha and your breathing and sharing that sensation it's taking the person deeper and deeper and it's called what? Put Pa Tulum Opening the wind gate P-U-T-P-A-H-T-U-L-U-M Put Pa Tulum Already? Very, very nice and um, the next procedure, you guys, it's just so exciting to share it with you. And we're going to introduce it with our hands, and then we're going to come in and use some heavy artillery, which is our feet. And a wonderful, uh, uh, wonderful asana here, wonderful offering, you guys. And the, it can be done facing away from the person, or I guess you would call it facing forward. And it can also be done facing the receiver. So I'll show you both, and then we'll show you how to do it with some heavy artillery, okay? The whole light, the whole process begins by taking the back of your hand and very gently moving the face away from you. You want to use the back of your hand, you guys, because I don't know why. It just seems more, you know, there seems to be less, intrusive. less intrusive. You're telegraphing yeah. a whole lot more information mm -hmm. that you don't need to with this side. So if you bring this in, yeah, it you, just... You're also not directing your palm chakra at them, so it's more gentle. Mm -hmm. Lots of power, yes, okay. Very gentle process. And uh, in, this, in this side, my friends, we're going to very gently rest our th our forefingers on the side of the face very gently, and then our thumb happens to automatically discover, um, I guess it would be called gallbladder 20, which isn't fair to you because you don't know what that is, but find it on yourself. It's this little indentation uh, between the attachments of the um, SCM and also the, um, the scalings, I guess it would be called like this. It's, a yeah, right in the middle. So it's almost like a natural indentation, like so. And I'm going to take the wrist, and my friends, as far as I'm concerned, there isn't a better procedure for uh, releasing this uh, very, um, very sometimes very difficult fascia and uh, adhesions and things like that. Enjoy yourselves, be natural. Notice I'm bringing the arm down to a, 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 a 45 degree angle. Sometimes I even use my knee here like so to get the traction I'm looking for. And I, and I lean like so and press, just like a, like a thumbtack. Press and pull. Okay, very firm. And this is new for Tina, so she's resisting, resisting. But what you want to do, there we go, you suggest it for them to release. And if you notice, there's a little guitar string popping out over here, you guys. And that's exactly what we want. You can always, once you've identified this uh, focal point right here, you can always come in here and take your palm and press with your palm and pull in the arm also. Let it go, let it go here. Any discomfort? Okay. If I use the intuition technique, you're asking for stronger than breath. That's too bad. Go now. Number one, it's after lunch. Okay. <laughs> number two. <laughs> okay. And uh, but you see, by practicing the intuition technique, you can you become pretty uh, pretty accurate. Eventually, you take the intuition technique and you crumble it up and you throw it away because now you become where instinctual. You put yourself through the discipline for so many years that it's instinctual. Occasionally you need to use it, you pull it back in and you fine-tune it and you toss it out again because you're instinctual. Okay.
okay, like so. It also works the other way, you guys. Look at this. I switch, switch hands here, and I gently um, transition, micro-adjusting my body, and uh, now facing the receiver, like so. And now we reach mm -hmm. under the neck with the confidence of holding an infant. Okay, reaching under the neck with the confidence of holding an infant. And your thumb, anybody play pool in here? I played a little pool with a, uh, a bead iron. I mean, I paid a... Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, we're good, we're good, you know. Uh, but who plays pool here? Look, we play pool, uh, you, you place your hand down, and of course you bring up, try that, you guys place your hand down, and bring your thumb up like so. So you've got yourself a nice bridge like that. The same thing is true here, you guys. I'm gonna reach underneath here, and then I'm gonna <laughs> micro adjust my thumb, and there I have it again. And um, we get to uh, lean, even sometimes just leaving it on your leg like so, and pulling right here, and again, pressing. It's the same procedure. We're just